All right, the chord of the day is a perfect example of how order changes everything. This is an E minor seven flat six. Very strange chord, right? You may not have ever heard it or played it before. Open E, two on the A string. I'm actually muting the D string, so I'm not playing the B string. I'm getting the fourth fret, pinky on the G string, first fret, B string, pointer finger, and then the third fret on the high E string with my ring finger. Now, these are actually all the same notes in a C major seven chord, right? But I strike that low E and I get that and it sounds ominous, where a C major seven sounds kind of pretty. But after that chord, a C major seven, three E, three A, two D, open all the way down, sounds a lot different, right? So the context is very important. And your context isn't gonna matter if you're not playing elixir strings on your guitar, but E minor seven, flat six. C major 7, 